Hey everyone, Flint Truth here. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's had a good week so far, good weekend. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say Happy Halloween. I don't celebrate those um, holidays. However, I will say that um, I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's doing good. I wanted to talk to you guys about these YouTube shows, you know, and me, I don't keep up with sports, so I don't particularly particularly care you know, what these clowns are up to, but I thought maybe I should put it out here because there are people that are being misled by these people, you know, and uh, this was just a good example, so I figured I'd use it. So this guy right here, you can see he's got a Jesus is King hat. Someone might be saying, well, what's, you know, what's the point of this video? Well, this guy claims to be a Christian. He's got his own uh, Locked On podcast, and if you guys are familiar with YouTube at all, which I imagine most of you guys are because you guys are on my YouTube channel, um, so obviously you guys are familiar probably with all these YouTube podcast shows that have been popping up the last few years and these, this locked on, uh, there's, there's like locked on it's for every, every team, every city, every state, they have a locked on. So obviously they're a committee, um, that, um, that they're all, they all work together, you know, kind of like a Freemason club, you know, they're all sponsored by the same people. They're all. Uh, it's a network. It's put together almost like a Big Ten network or, um, you know, a ESPN network or whatever. It's a network, only it's a YouTube network, and they go around and they find people like that they think will benefit them, people that are either um, part of the club, part of the, you know, I'm sure everyone that's in the group, you know, is, is a made person, right? They're either connected to a Freemasonry, some type of fraternity. They're connected somehow to the occult, the government, you can be assured of it. But the point of this video is, as you see, his hat is Jesus is King. He's some clown. Of course, if you guys pay attention to watch any of his stuff, uh, he's a clown. He's a Satanist like all the rest. But he's got a tattoo, he says, in this video that says, on his back, that says Jesus. And so he's he's doing this video and he's talking uh, about bullcrap, about stupid, you know, Michigan, Michigan State, like ridiculousness. But he, 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 he cusses. He says a swear word and he catches himself and he says... I'm sorry, uh, I don't like saying that. I have a Jesus tattoo on my back. And so that that makes it so I, I, I don't like to do bad things. So I wanted to touch on that. You know, you see this shill right here. He says, hey, I got a Jesus tattoo on my back. I'm wearing a Jesus is King shirt. Uh, of course I'm a Christian. Of course I'm saved, you know. And he's absolutely not saved. You can watch this guy and just know that he's not saved. And uh, they're frauds, right? They just wear like a Jesus is King shirt or they'll get a little Jesus tattoo and they want people to um, believe them, buy into their antics. And like I said, this guy's just a wolf in sheep's clothing. Um, here's his part of his signal as you guys can, um, let me see if I can, right here, Locked on Wolverines podcast. And as you guys can see the pentagrams there, you got the as above, so below, right? You got the pentagram, the top pentagrams facing upwards. And then you got the inverted pentagrams facing downward on the bottom, right? As above, so below. And these Locked On podcasts are popping up all over. And like I said, the point of this video is because when you guys hear um, clowns like this guy who claims to, you know, say, hey, well, I have a Jesus tattoo, uh, you know, and I have his name written on my back. Well, I'm sure the Jesus tattoo that you have is not the real Jesus. Second of all, you're not supposed to be getting tattoos as a saved person, as part of the saved body of Christ. Okay, that's a that's a cutting into the flesh. It's strictly strictly uh, forbidden. Um, it's one thing if you do it as a lost person, you, you don't know no better, and all of a sudden you get saved. You're not making no more uh, decisions like that to go and, and, and further mark up your body. Now, if you've done it as a lost person, it happens. You've made mistakes. You know, I guess then we're kind of your battle scars. However, if you're supposedly a saved person, you're supposedly a Christian, and you're running out getting those, uh, you are not a saved person, okay? And there's a lot of people that claim to be Christians, and they're going out and getting these uh, so-called Christi Christian, Christian or religious tattoos, and you're not honoring God by doing that, okay? God doesn't find glorification in you um, going and, and, and putting poison ink in your body and taking a needle and, and stabbing your body, you know, until the point where it bleeds, uh, you know, and having that ink set in permanently in your skin, you're not doing that for a good cause, okay? God doesn't like it. 
It doesn't make Jesus happy. And like I said, so I wanted to touch on that. I also wanted to touch on the, hey, I understand mistakes happen. I understand that people, you know, sometimes make mistakes when they're younger and those things happen, especially in the generation of today where it seems like everybody anymore has a tattoo. Um, I personally have none um, and I'm so thankful for that. Um, and if you have one, like I said, hopefully you're convicted by it. Hopefully you're not going out and getting new ones. Hopefully you're not uh, encouraging your friends and family to go out and, and get them and people that are you know in the church and the part and are a part of the saved body of Christ. Um, make sure that we're putting this information out there. Make sure that we're saying, hey, you know, let's let's watch out for wolves in sheep's clothing for the, you know like this guy, these guys that you know claim that they get these Jesus tattoos, but yet you know cussing out their mouth every two seconds. And he was aware of what he was doing. That was why he you know sat there and said, hey, you know, uh, I shouldn't be cussing because I have a Jesus tattoo on my back. No, how about you shouldn't be cussing because it's nasty, it's profane, it's vulgar, it's indecent, it's disgusting, it's not manly, it's not moral, morale, it's not something you should be doing. It's not something that a Christian should be doing. Uh, that's something that a lost person does, something that a devil does. And we're not supposed to be the same as the, the lost world and the devils. We're, there's supposed to be a difference in our life. So I wanted to warn you guys about people like him and these Locked On podcasts because, like I said, they're popping up all over and um, for every single, you know, and I don't watch sports. I don't keep up with sports, but I get sent things. And I think it's important for me to put information out there for people that do watch sports and that are on YouTube looking for, you know, ways to pass their time instead of opening up the Bible and reading the, reading the book. You know, a lot of people get online and they and they watch a video and everybody's interests are different. And I would just warn you guys that, you know, one, sports is uh, not what we should be wasting our time on. OK, it's the same thing with Caesar and the Roman Empire. Right. It's the same thing that Caesar did back in, you know, uh, the gladiator days. Right. You give them the, the Roman circus. Right. You give them the circus to keep their keep them occupied, keep them entertained. Then you keep their bellies full with the bread. The bread and the wine and that's the same thing they have it now with the football and the circuses and everything else that they have right this all these so-called sports and olympics it's just to keep people uh, docile to, you know and then if you notice like the fight that happened at the michigan michigan state game they're claiming everybody's shocked that there's even going to be charges filed because they said it happened in the realm of the football field which supposedly if it happens on a football field i guess there's no repercussions i guess there's no um, I guess it's just a lawless uh, arena, almost like uh, the gladiators, right? There's no laws, there's no rules. And you can even see the police officers in that scuffle, they do nothing. The police officers don't even try to intervene. Like, the police aren't seeing an illegal act with 10 people jumping on one guy. And it really just says everything, you know, that it's the gladiator it's the it's this it's the roman empire days it's the same thing it's what they do they keep you entertained right dumb down docile keep you sidetracked uh keep your mind on things that don't mean nothing and it's sad that people can't see the forest for the trees right people are so obsessed with these sports that they're willing to fight uh somebody they don't know willing to get mad at somebody they don't know all because another team won or another team scored or this happened. It's ridiculous, guys. It's made to um, work off your emotions and work off your feelings and to put you in a certain mindset, to get you in a, a tribal mindset, like a prehistoric mindset, you know, a meathead, meatball mindset. And uh, be, be aware, like I said, these locked on people, all these podcasts that are sudden suddenly popping up anybody in joe blow can do a podcast i guess anymore and it's fine whatever everybody can has different interests so anybody can do what they want um but if you're a saved person you definitely shouldn't be wasting your time with watching those things participating in those things you should be trying to wake up others uh you know spending your time reading the bible trying to get spiritually enlightened you know um become closer to jesus christ um those are my goals, and hopefully that's your your. Hopefully those are your some of your similar goals too. That you guys aren't sitting around, wasting your time watching sports and um you know wasting your money. So like I said, watch out for 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 clowns like these guys. As you guys can see, the Lockdown Wolverines podcast. Watch out for clowns like these that claim that they're uh, Christians. You know, oh, and this is how they get people. Oh, he's a Christian. I can watch him. You know, he, he's a Christian that watches sports. He's another Christian. I can I can watch it. No, you can't. Okay, it's it's a that's 
being of the world okay it's it's a pagan culture it's it's a pagan idolatry okay so let's let's see through these people and i just wanted to you know quickly touch base on this guy um like i said don't have nothing personally like don't hate the man hopefully he does get saved hopefully he gets you know he if, if he's a freemason or whatever connections that he has to be able to get this spotlight and to be able to um you know get a big channel and be able to have all these successful businesses that he claims that he's has um obviously he's connected okay and anybody these these dosa dions or any of these big channels these micro mics you know all these big channels there's a reason why they're allowed to get big and why they're not shut down they're not shut down because they're part of the shill network is, a, is the best way to say it so i'm gonna leave it with that um more videos coming out today so make sure you look out for it like comment share subscribe it really does help the youtube channel uh, helps with the algorithm um, and i appreciate y'all god bless y'all and have a great week